praise, praise Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God is, is a, a good, good God. God. God is awesome God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Go ahead, baby. Yeah, so our son, Santiago, had a dream about Naya Ri- I don't know. I, I know. Oh, Naya Riviera. Yeah. We got her name wrong. We apologize. So we had this dream last night. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I had a dream that um, a camera guy, like, it was like a camera guy following her around and her son around into the, um, uh, into the lake. And then uh, the camera guy grabbed um, uh, Naya and um, uh, dragged her into her his, um, to his car. And then uh, she was gone for about four months, it looked like. And then she came back and then nobody believed that was actually her. Wow. And that's it. Yeah, and then there were gates like there's like a wall between her and like us. Wow. Yeah. We were in a dream? Mm-hmm. It's like a wall. It's like a, a gate between like people who like their friends with her and then her and the camera guy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So uh in the dream it seems like she came back uh, three or four months. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, and today was the first time I'm hearing this uh, this whole thing, and we were just doing something on our studio, and my my son popped up like, "Hey, I had a dream about where we say what?" Yeah, and it's very very important, you know, to share this dream. So if you notice in the dream, he was saying something that uh, she came back again. This is the area that is very important. Okay. Uh, if you will go ahead and share this video, help out in this uh, incident, wherever she is, let her be released. Let this dream come to pass that yes. she came back to her family. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the most important part. You know, we don't want her to die. Mm-hmm. Yes. We want her to keep living. So let's pray that she keep living and she'll come back for real. Let this dream come to pass. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta go. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> okay. So you you and I need to just uh, you know go in prayers to help out. Yes. It's very important. You know, this is the things we don't. You know, we don't. We don't know if uh, personally I don't know if she know God. If she loved Jesus Christ, if she confessed Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah, we don't know much about her. We don't know. But the thing is, it, you know, it's somebody's family member. Yes. It is somebody's daughter or wife or whatsoever it is. Mm-hmm. Siblings. You know, the compassion, you know, the, the desire to, you know, see family happy with their family. Yes. Yeah, you know, if this person see this video when she come out, you know, if God made it possible for her to come out, and if she come out and see a video like this that people prayed, yes, uh, that will give her courage to come out and speak out for this. Yes, yes, that's very true. Because most people, when they when they release them, they torment them and put fear in them. Yes, it's so true. And most of them can't even say what they got through, what happened. You know, but things like this, videos like this, or a message like this can help. Mm-hmm. We don't need to always be so much ju- judgmental that we we sound so righteous that we cannot pray for anybody out there or cannot yeah. speak to anybody out there. You know, we're on this earth, on this world, to minister the word of God, to to get to anyone that we can, even the Muslim, even the atheists, even the list of people that. That, that need to hear it. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of people that need to hear the word of God. Yeah. And our platform is a little different. We are yeah. we are in ministry. We do deliverance. Uh, we do deliverance prayers. We do conferences. Uh, we do dream, prophecy, interpretations, you know. And uh, we also help celebrities um, to get them, to bring them back to Christ Jesus or bring them to Christ Jesus. Yeah. Not only that, we're uh, helping many people who don't even know about Christ and uh, and you know they learn about Christ through our ministry yeah. and uh, 
I just thank God for that, you know, and God shows all of us, you know, uh, you know, the people who are watching, God shows all of us, you and me, me and my husband, all of us, uh, dreams and visions of mysteries that's going on in this earth. And, mm. and we praise God for that. And, um, you know, and I believe in the year 2017, mm -hmm. we're going to share this video somehow. I don't know yeah. how we're going to do it, yeah. but we the Lord to. showed us, uh, that people are missing on islands, yeah. you know, and, uh, we would have never even thought about that unless, you know, the Lord showed us and, you know, and now God is bringing more attention to why are these people owning private islands? Yeah. Why? What's really going on? What's you know, the thing? what's the deal for that? Yes. What's the purpose for what's that? What's the purpose of you having a private island? And who is in command? Who do you have police? Do you have uh, what's the law in that place? Right. Who is caring for that place? Yes. And they, they go into the uh, Caribbeans. They go into the Bahamas. Why? You know? And What's the secret? What is the secrets going on about it? You know? And um, someone began to show us something on Twitter. And I'm going to show you what it. Because um, y'all know that the news is going all around about Wayfair, you know, dot com. And I noticed that. Wayfair had a location, um, and this location was Little St. James, and that's a private island. And the person who owned it was Jeffrey Eastman, um, and he was a convicted child offender, and he owned this private island. And so if he was a convicted child uh, sex offender... Uh, what was he doing on this private oh, island? Yes. And why do uh, Wayfair have the location to this private island? And not only just this island, but there's many islands that they are they're, they're, um, that they're hiding secret people on. Um, and they're doing sex trafficking. Not only just sex trafficking, they're probably doing a bunch of witchcraft. And, yeah. and, uh, and the Lord began to reveal to my husband because we did a video. It didn't it didn't show up. Yeah, yeah. But the Lord began to reveal to my husband as we was doing that video that a lot of celebrities know the truth. A lot of them. Yes. They know the truth about what's going on in these private islands. Yeah. They know about sex trafficking. They know the truth. Um, but they can't say nothing because they have committed themselves into these secret societies. Okay in the satanic kingdom and so um they got to keep their mouth shut yeah because it's like you said when you said when you sell your soul you are signing up for every yeah. you know how you go to bank you want to open account yeah they give you some document to sign or you mm -hmm. want to buy a land yes. or a home they give you documents you sign every one of them right. that's how selling your soul is you know yeah. every rules you have to obey mm -hmm. you have to shut your mouth yes or you pay the consequences. And they got consequences yeah. to pay. And I believe majority of them probably didn't know how harsh the uh, consequences would be. You know? It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. It's horrible. You know, so um, if this is true about Wayfair, um, I pray that they be exposed and other com companies be exposed uh, for sex trafficking mm. and then keeping people hostage on 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 uh, private islands and I, I pray to God uh, that governments or the people who are in, in charge of this land um, will go there somehow and and Expose what's it called some things. yeah Deep start in. yeah start exposing go in the, go in those private islands because these people a lot of people been missing yeah. it's a lot of people missing and uh, where are they going where? where's the location you know. And it's crazy because uh, even uh, this uh, trafficking thing, a lot of preachers are involved in this mess. Yes. A lot of them. Yes, a sir. lot of them are. Uh, this kidnapping, a lot of these preachers are involved in this. But they're going to want you to shut up. God has revealed yes. so much. Ooh, he has, y'all. And, and we, we have can, held back a lot. We have held back on videos. Um, the Lord began to show us who's doing sex trafficking. When you see me on the video and, I, and or my husband saying, we can't tell you everything, that's it. They doing sex trafficking. And uh, God will expose them in due time. Whatever 
you do in the dark will oh, come to light. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. No two ways about no it. No two ways about it. You know, but the thing is, what I don't get is that I think, <laughs> Lord Jesus, let me shut up because I was going to say something really, really crazy. I just think that these people have desire to sleep with children, you know, and that's the thing I don't get. Uh, but I, I was just saying, like, go to go just go get go get some deliverance you you should know that's not right yeah sleeping with young children and 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 why would you want to sleep with a person that don't want you you know i just don't get that yeah. you shouldn't force no one to have sexual relationships with you because because certain that their master don't care so they yeah. don't have uh, you know if we are think you are thinking days because you have compassion yeah, Those people true. don't have compassion. Yeah. They don't care. They just want to do whatever, whatever that true. makes them happy. It's not about them. And I noticed that Satan, he really loves to use uh, sex yeah. and money. Yeah. He controls people with sex and money. Yeah. You know, and we have to, as people, realize the tactics that the enemy uses against um, our nation, our country, our, our youth, you know. Wow. Well, me and my husband, we do have a video and, and private, you know, warning young women. Mm -hmm. uh, because what Naya is went through, you know, we all need to be alert of our surroundings. Yeah. Uh, we need to be alert of who we're hanging around with. Yeah. And uh, don't trust everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody is not your friend, you know. Even if you are co-workers with these people, they're not your friend. No. You know, have discernment of who you are hanging around with. You know, uh, your own per your own people can turn against you. Yeah. And my husband Definitely. was showing me a video um, uh, yeah. that I think is, it happened in Canada. No, it happened in uh, 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 Asia, somewhere in uh, in uh, Pakistan. No, Pakistan. Yes, he Pakistan. was showing me how the uncle turned on his own nephew, and I was like, "Wow!" It's crazy for money. It's crazy. Yeah, held him hostage. He allowed his nephew to be held hostage. Um, and he, he fleed and ran. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, you where can't even... Where is the compassion? Where, yeah, where is the compassion? Where is the love? Yes. You know, where is all this? But it's not. And the thing is with me, if, if, you, if you can't be loyal to your family members, then how are you going to be loyal to anyone else? You know, so that's how it is for me. How are you going to be loyal to anyone? If you can't be truthful to yourself, you can't be truthful to nobody. Okay, if you if these uh, people are, are having sexual relationship with children, then how can you be in an honest relationship or it, do ministry or anything? I don't see these people don't have a conscience. Their 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 heart is cold, and uh, no good is in them. Okay, that's it. That's it, y'all. I ain't want to talk about this. I feel disgusted. I feel like I need to take a shower after this. Okay, for real, seriously. I feel like I got to take a shower. And brush my teeth, okay? Listen, if you're not subscribed to Henry and Money, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make, make cool it Christians. cool Christians. Cool Christians. We, we hang out over, over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you know why I was laughing? Mm -mm. I said, I need to take a shower after that. I need to brush my teeth. <laughs>